so we're in Thurrock today. We're kicking off our 15 day bus tour in Essex, a uh, very important part of the country. And we'll be going all the way to Newcastle over the next 15 days, uh, going through towns and cities across the UK. And this tour is all about empowerment, basically. It's about going into communities that at the moment are not interacting with mainstream politics and saying to them, please get involved, please join democracy, stop letting democracy just being run by this narrow group of people. We feel that until we start to engage the TOWIE generation, the only way is Essex generation, we're just not going to change politics. There's no, we can't just keep talking to the narrow audience of people who watch Question Time. You know, we've got to go much broader, and that means talking to people who watch Towie, the people who watch Hollyoaks, people who watch Emmerdale. These are all places that we're going to be going on our tour, um, and we're going to try and just get to the bottom of why people are not engaging, and try and try and find new ways to get people involved. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My hair's blown all over the gas. My name is Jasmine Walia and we're on the TOWIE filming set at Barblenko. I think every decision we make obviously affects our future lives so I think it's really important. I think everyone should vote because at the end of the day it's our lives and we can change it for the better. Well I think obviously it is important because obviously it's your say on choosing who is uh, essentially running our country so I think it's very important that if you don't vote you ain't obviously you ain't putting your, your views across, you ain't, you're not going to be heard some reason, I don't know why, it's not just with the, the kids, the youth, it's also with the, the adults, it's like society in general seem to not care too much about voting. I don't, I don't, I can't really rationalise that. It is, it's crazy that they would rather vote for X Factor or The Voice or etc, etc, than vote for who is running our country, it's, it's crazy. Everyone, you need to sort yourself out, get off your ass, go and register to vote and be heard. No, I just think for kids, they should, they should, do it and they should um, bring politics up in school a little bit more than what they do. Because they're, they're uneducated in it to a certain degree, so if they're not interested, what's the point in voting? And that's, that's, the, that's the, the striking point, really. Let's get kids interested in voting, find out why they should vote, because it is important. It affects everything. That, you know, they don't think about it. They go to school, and they, they probably text everything about TOWIE. But really, what, what's important in life is that's a massive thing. They've got, they've got an opportunity to, you know, to make a change Absolutely, for whatever they believe in. So start voting. Don't let us down. No vote, no voice. Hi, my name's Lydia Bright and I'm here today to support the No Vote, No Voice campaign. I would say that young people really need to try and vote because, you know, we are the generation that are affected the most with politics. And I know sometimes that people may think that it's boring and, you know, not want not want to vote or get involved in the general election. No vote, no, no voice. voice. So guys, make sure that you register to vote because everybody needs to be part of this because it affects our country and at the end of the day, we are all the people that dictate what happens. No, no vote, no, no voice. voice. There's a church just inside this school here where there's 400 people. Um, we hear that this is one of the areas where there's a really low uh, voter turnout and really low voter registration. So we're going to ask the congregation as they come out, would you like to sign up to vote? And we're going to explain to them why we think it's a really good thing to get involved with democracy. I believe uh, even though if it's one vote, uh, it would make an impact and uh, make a statement. People from all nations, we have about, we have about 32 plus nations here. So we've got a diverse congregation. And in other countries, like women are not allowed to vote still, and they still in other countries where your vote doesn't count. So I think here it's such a privilege that your vote counts, but it's just that as an ethnic minority woman myself, um, I have tried you know, to, to encourage other ethnic minorities. I think more work needs to be done to encourage more ethnic minority and doing workshops and all that so that at least they have a voice. I think it's fantastic because if you don't vote, then your voice will never be heard. No one will ever know what you think or what you really think is good for the country. Do it. Vote. Vote, vote, vote. I think anything that we can do to raise awareness 
uh, of the privilege that we have, uh, the freedom that we have, uh, not just in voting but in so many other areas uh, in this country. I think uh, for any organisation that wants to promote freedom uh, in these things then I think it's a great thing. I believe that it's very important that you use your vote so that you can influence the decision of who you want to be elected so that you get a, an input into what happens in your country. Well, it's the chance to speak out what you say because all the quiet people who don't like to talk much, this is your time to shine and have your say. No vote, no voice. No vote, no voice. I'm 18 and this is going to be my first general election. Oh, and I'm excited. <laughs> No vote, no voice. Keep up the good work. Yes, I like the bus. <laughs> Thank you so much.